Jalen, let's uh, play a game we used to play on the old show called either, neither, or both. If I said the Suns and the Heat, who's getting to the finals, either, neither, or both? I'm going to say both. Both. And here's why. Not to disrespect the Milwaukee Bucks, the reigning champion, Stephen A., but the East has been a revolving door since LeBron left. I believe that continues. They're the number one seed right now. In Heat culture, let me just tell you, Eric Spolcher, all of these guys are undrafted, and they play quality minutes for the Heat. How about he, for, uh, Duncan Robinson? He's had a 27-point game. Gabe Benson, 27-point game. Strauss, do you know who that was before this year? Yeah, no, I... He's had a 32-point game. Caleb Martin has had a 28-point game. I didn't even bring up Jimmy Butler, Bam. Olari oh, and Tyler Hero, Spons. who may be their All Star this I, year. I think Tyler Hero is an All Star. How about that? And then Phoenix player development. The big position was short last year against the Milwaukee Bucks. Mm -hmm. So you go out and get Biombo playing quality minutes for them. You let the young fella Smith play good minutes. JaVale McGee playing good minutes. They're 16 and three without DeAndre Ayton, who's averaging 18 and 10 when he plays both. So Jalen's got the Heat and the Suns. Michael, how about you? I started off with the Heat and the Suns, so I'm certainly staying with both. I think, to Jalen's point, Miami's better now than they were in the bubble when they got to the finals two years ago. Mm -hmm. It's a better team now. More complete team. Guys like Duncan Robinson and Tyler Hero, who were new to the whole thing, now they've absorbed Eric Spolstra and, of course, Pat Riley in that culture, Jimmy Butler and Bam. And so they're a better team. And the Suns, who, and I, I got a chance to spend some time with, with Chris Paul and Devin Booker last night, and you talk about a quiet confidence. There's no drama. There's no beefing. There's there's nothing but the, Chris Paul literally said he loves to come to work every day. He's like, I'm coming to the gym. All we do is come here trying to figure out how to win tonight's game. That's it. And today, that's why I can't say the Nets because they represent the opposite in a lot of ways. I haven't heard the Nets. I haven't heard the Warriors. A lot of names I haven't heard. Stephen A., how about the Heat and the Suns? I have to confess a couple of things. Okay, uh, because my judgment is a little bit skewed here. On one hand, I want to say Miami because of South. <laughs> and I'm not apologizing for that. And the <laughs> fact that they've got perimeter shooters, exceptional coaching, they will play defense. They got a rough rider led by Jimmy Butler. And I'm not talking about just closing games or whatever because they got a couple of dudes that can deliver for you. But in terms of a mindset and not backing down from anybody, mm -hmm. I like the Miami Heat. I'm not going to disagree with mm -hmm. you here. I can't go with the Coyotes. I mean the Phoenix. I just can't, <laughs> I just can't do it. And, and for me, it's about I think Phoenix is going back to the conference finals, uh, but I think the Warriors are standing in their way. I don't care what I'm seeing right now for okay. the most part from okay. Phoenix. I respect the fact that they're the best team right now. But Clay's coming on strong, averaging more than 15 a game, shooting nearly 37% from three, and he's just getting warmed up. Andrew Wiggins is an all-star who I expect that to elevate his confidence. Steph Curry's been struggling lately. That ain't going to last. And, oh, by the way, Draymond is coming back. Wiseman, we hope, ultimately would be back. And so when I look at it from that perspective, I'm saying, excuse me, the Warriors were rolling before these things took place, before Clay came back and before Draymond got injured. I expect the Warriors to still be the team everybody's going to have to answer to. I expect them to play in the conference, Western Conference Finals. But let me just mm -hmm. ask you this, Stephen. Yes. There's no but for the Suns. What do you mean? There's no but. What do you mean? They, you, you, you got all these buts. The Nets, you got all Draymond's these other ifs and what ifs with the Warriors. If Wiseman comes back and win Draymond, well, they, the when? Suns have no but. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I would, my, I would ask you to be very, very careful. God bless them. We love ourselves some CP3. But there have been injuries in the past. Yes. Devin Booker, we yes. love him. He's a star. There have been injuries in the past. Kaminsky had to fill in. Dario Saric went down last year. Yep. You don't know what's going to happen. So the same thing I'm saying now, you could be saying. Of, of course, I'm just saying. All right, the then. Suns, like the Heat, you have health. are better than the time they went to the finals, each one in the last two and years. And I think the Warriors yep. are significantly better than they were. Last year. To me, the headline Justin. here is all Last three of you I want no Coyotes. Miami to win the East, leaving out the Nets, leaving out the defending champs, the Milwaukee Bucks. We will see. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.